The Emperor asked Rashta why is she not wearing the ring he gave her, known as the Red Flame Star. So Viesha reveals that the ring has a spell that removes scars if worn for longer. Rashta is surprised and lies that she gave it to poor maid because she pity her. So Vieshu offers to give Rashta another one if she wants one, but he needs to borrow the Empress ring with the same magic on it. Viscount Roteshu visits Rashta and she questions him about the ring she gave him. He sells it for more money than expected. Rashta is angry and asks Roteshu to sit down. Roteshu is not intimidated and offers to help her if she agrees with his side. Rashta threatens that if he reveal her baby, if she doesn't cooperate, he will ruin their arrangement. She wants to prove his ability to her by investigating Duchess Tuania's weakness to start a bad rumor. The Emperor wants to borrow the Desert Flower Ring that has a powerful healing spell and was obtained from a traitor returning from Rift. The Empress already knew that he want to lend it to Rashta. The Empress agreed to lend Sovieshu her magical ring, but in return he have to lend one of his magical items as collateral. She explained that she will lend it to a young countryman, since he doesn't want her to associate with foreigners. The Emperor became angry, telling her just to say no if she doesn't want to lend him and pretend the situation didn't happen. Empress Navier encounters Prince Heinle and she mentions meeting Duke Elgi. She explained that Duke Elgi claims it was Heinle who called him and that he's been setting up something for years. The prince looks tense and cold. He answered that he doesn't want to lie to the Empress, proving his seriousness about their friendship. However, the Empress think that he is up to something, possibly involving Duke Elgi's in the Eastern Empire. She offered to let him not to answer if he couldn't, but Prince Heinle remained nervous and sighed. Eight days after Rashta asked Viscount Roteshu to uncover Duchess Tuania's weakness, he found useful information in a gossip magazine from 20 years ago. The Duchess Tuania married Duke Tuania, leading to Lord Marion's suicide, which is the older brother of Duke Tuania. Rumors spread about her pregnancy, which was rumored to Lord Marion's child. The father-in-law, Duke Tuania, drove the publisher out of business. This rumors made Rashta happy. That will cause the rumors about her to pass to Duchess Tuania. Count Pernu informed the Emperor about a red flame star at an auction house. He found the seller, and contrary to what Rashta said, it was Viscount Roteshu, not a maid. Rashta is asked by the Emperor about a ring she gave to a maid. She is surprised, thinking if the Emperor found something. So Vieshu, who had come to know about the ring, questions her motives. Rashta admits she also gave the ring to Viscount Roteshu out of gratitude. He questions if she was threatened by Viscount Roteshu. Rashta, out of desperation, forces her to lie. If so Vieshu knows about the baby, he would punish the Viscount and drag Rashta down with him. The Empress asked Countess Eliza if there's something happened when she was away. Countess Eliza told her that Duchess Tuania slapped Duke Elgi in front of many people, leading to a frenzy. And a woman pulled Tuania's hair, revealing she was one of Duke Elgi's former lovers. No one knows why Tuania hit Duke Elgi but it would likely lead to more gossip. Laura assures Her Majesty that over two dozen such incidents happen annually. Upon arriving at the Central Palace for work, Rashta greeted her and discussed the allowance for concubines, which was about 30,000 krangs a year. Rashta asked if she can get her allowance without recording what she will spend on it. The Empress think that Rashta want to make a slush fund, but it's not her business. She told her that the Emperor manages everything about her, and she should seek permission first. She ponders, then leaves in embarrassment. The Empress is surprised to see another woman wearing a dress almost identical to her. The room is filled with anxiety and interest, as everyone seems to think they planned this on purpose. Rashta asked why the Empress copy her dress, but the Empress remains calm and explains that she came here as herself and what would be the reason to copy someone like her. The Emperor arrive while Grand Duke Lil Tiang and others share gossip about the dress, with some accusing the Empress of copying Rashta. However, Soviesha reveals that he asked the Empress to wear a red dress, causing the Empress confusion. The Empress is surprised by Soviesha's lies to protect her dignity. Grand Duke Lil Tiang, embarrassed, smiles and compliments their relationship. Rashta, unhappy, is surrounded by nervous glances. The Empress cannot understand why he helped her. As they sit at the table, they notice Rashta laughing and talking to Duke Tuania, who seems to be enjoying his conversation. The Empress was thinking if Soviesha will be jealous, but he seems unperturbed. Laura explained that Duke Tuania was told she would divorce Duchess Tuania due to rumors about Lord Marion. The ladies-in-waiting were shocked and Laura suggested that Lord Marion had a close relationship with Duchess Tuania before their marriage. 
Laura also mentioned that Duchess Tuania had a fight with another woman, which the Duke Tuania thinks his wife and Duke Elgi have relationship. The Empress questioned the connection to Miss Rashta and Duchess Tuania, who recently asked about the scandal. Duchess Tuania stated she would never divorce and may go to trial. The Empress is suspicious about Duke Tuania's sudden mention of a problem, suspecting Rashta may have manipulated information. She warns against treating her as a naive slave turned concubine, as she could influence society and public opinion. Four days later, Rashta is stabbed by Viscount Langdal. Viscount Langdal fell in love with Duchess Tuania, who stabbed Rashta. Duke Elgi came in rescue while Viscount Langdal shouted and claimed she ruined Duchess Tuania. The palace doctor is examining Rashta while Sovieshu is unable to concentrate and is going crazy. However, the doctor informs Sovieshu that there is a baby in Rashta's stomach. The doctor believes that Rashta became pregnant after Sovieshu saved her from the woods. The situation raises questions about the emperor's mental state and the nature of the baby. The emperor visited the empress, informing her that Rashta is pregnant. She honestly states that she cannot offer her congratulations. Sovieshu reveals that it may not be recognized as part of the imperial family but it is his first child. He offers to increase the allowance for concubines with his child starting next month, and the Empress agrees. Countess Eliza closes the door, and Prince Heinle approaches to console the Empress. He offers to give her a hug as a friend, a comforting gesture. The Empress agree and is relieved, feeling secure on his shoulders. Countess Eliza told the Empress that Duchess Tuania wants to see her. Despite her good relationship, she doesn't usually visit without an invitation. The Duchess sits on the couch, expressing her distress. She chokes out the words and asks for the help for Viscount Langdal, expressing shame and requesting the Empress rescue. She informed the Empress that Viscount Langdal won't go to trial, as his case won't go to the chief judge. The Emperor will charge Viscount Langdal for the near death of a royal baby, leading to his execution. Duchess Tuania is upset about the threat of execution to her honor defender, Viscount Langdal. The Empress is considering talking to the Emperor and suspects Miss Rashta is discrediting Duchess Tuania. The Duchess inhaled deeply and took the Empress handkerchief. She offered to repay the act of kindness to Viscount Langdal someday. She hugged the Duchess once, rubbing her back, and then left, smiling and standing up. The Empress enters Viscount Langdal's prison, where she finds Langdal, seated with his head in his hands. Langdal admits to shouting and screaming so that everyone would hear what Rashta did to Duchess Tuania, but the Empress later admits that the matter is buried, as it was discovered that Rashta is pregnant. Viscount Langdal was surprised after hearing of Rashta's pregnancy and that he will be executed without trial. The Empress took his attention and explained that she wouldn't tell him this if she will let him die. 